Hi everyone, it's Natalie Kimball at Natalie K Fitness on Instagram, and I am so excited today to do glute activation and form techniques with you. Are you ready? All you need today is one dumbbell, and if you don't have a dumbbell, still follow along, still interact. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. We are so excited. This is gonna be a half an hour workshop. All you need is one dumbbell. Typing in. Oh, I don't know how to pin it. Oh, pin comment, there we go. All right, welcome, welcome. I'll go ahead and introduce myself one more time. My name is Natalie Kimball. I am CEO and founder of Natalie K Fitness, and you can find me on Instagram at Natalie K Fitness. We are so excited. Me, as in or we, as in Dexter and myself, are so excited to bring you this glute activation and form technique workshop. Are you ready? Are we ready? Ooh. All right, so you guys, a lot of us, when we're trying to engage our glutes, it starts with the pelvis. So what I commonly see, especially in females, is an anterior pelvic tilt. What that means is if I had my hips be a bucket of water, the water is pouring out. Very rarely, but sometimes we see a posterior tilt. For true glute activation, we wanna find somewhere in the middle. So I want you all, place your hands on your hips, and we dip, we dip, we dip. <laughs> place your hands on your hips. We're gonna go anterior all together, so we're pushing forward. And then we're gonna go posterior, all the way back. Anterior, forward, and posterior. So what I want you to do now is find somewhere in the middle. That mid range is where you're going to do your exercises. That's where you're going to live. This is where maximum core gains and glute gains come from. So we're going to try and perform that same thing on the floor. So let's go and bring it on down. On our mats, we're going to go into an anterior tilt. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to find here. So I'm gonna dump out the bucket of water, bringing it forward, posterior tilt, bucket of water, and then back flat all the way against the mat. I want you to find somewhere in between, okay? Once you've found that in between, you're just going to engage. Try squeezing your core as tight as you can. You feel that? That's where you're gonna live in all things. What we're gonna do next is a glute bridge. And what I commonly see is us arching our back and scooping up. So you see here, I'm not getting much activity with my glutes or my core with this scoop action. A great way to tell if you're doing this, you take your thumbs and your pointer fingers and we're gonna match that with our rib cage in the top of our pelvis. So the bottom of my rib cage, I'm gonna find that with my thumbs, bottom of my rib cage, top of the pelvis, I'm gonna find my fingertips. I'm gonna bring my heels close to my glutes and I'm gonna maintain that same space all the way to the top. Big squeeze on the butt and then bring it all the way down. Core engaged, find that neutral pelvis that we just did standing and lying down. Yep. And see if your fingers are expanding. If I come up and my fingers get long, that means my core is not being activated and my glutes aren't being activated as much. So we're gonna do five more reps all together. You ready? And one, big squeeze on that tush. Two. 
three, two more, four, and five. Awesome job. We're gonna now perform this with the dumbbell. So I want you to take that dumbbell if you have it. If you don't, I'll show you an alternate option here. I'm gonna place that dumbbell on my hip bones, lying on my back. My feet come by my glutes. I'm bracing that core. So we're combining the two things, the neutral pelvis, and then making sure our rib cage and our pelvis stay the, stay the same distance apart. I'm gonna exhale, big squeeze on the butt. We wanna make sure that it all stays in alignment here. Let's go and do eight more reps together. There's one, squeeze the cheeks, two, Three, if you need more tension and you don't have a dumbbell, press your hands into those hips. Four. Five. Six. Seven, this last one, let's do a five second hold. Eight, squeeze your cheeks as tight as you can, press as hard as you can in this dumbbell while maintaining that tight abdomen. You don't wanna feel this in your lower back. Your glutes should be on fire. And release. How is everybody doing so far? How are we doing? Awesome, awesome. Next, we're gonna go over our plank. So we're gonna add in all of these things that we're learning, that neutral pelvis is gonna be added into our plank here. So coming from a kneeling position, I'm gonna extend those legs long. I'm gonna bring my forearms down to the mat. I'm gonna draw in my core tight, find that neutral pelvis, and then extend from my toes. What I want you to pay attention to is see if your body's in one straight line. What's very common in our planks is we hike our hips, I call these the little mountains, or the little back sags. Okay, so some very, very common things that we can be aware of, just by drawing our shoulders back, bracing the core, coming to a kneeling position, and think from the base of your head all the way down to your toes, and your one long line of energy squeezing. Your knees should be extended, engaging the quads. Glutes are extended. Core is engaged. Shoulders are pulled down and back. One long line. Beautiful. Did you find any difference with your plank in that one? Did you find any, any new goodies? <laughs> All right, next one. We're gonna go over our lunge. So common lunges, squats, deadlifts. I often see the knees caving in. So you guys, this is all layered. I really encourage you to rewatch this video later, but I commonly see the knees caving in. What we wanna do is get some external rotation. We just wanna push those knees out to get the glutes engaged or vice versa. If you see me standing here, and if I just squeeze my glutes, you will see how my knees come out. All I'm doing, squeezing the cheeks. You see that? Squeeze the cheeks, the knees come out. So you want better glute gains, squeeze those cheeks, sister and mister, and you draw those knees out. It's pretty incredible what you can get from that. So what we're gonna do, is let's start adding it by adding it to a squat. So we're gonna go feet shoulder width apart or wider, whatever anatomically you're feeling today. And then we're gonna try squeezing those cheeks, the butt cheeks, you can squeeze these cheeks too. Butt cheeks, we're gonna hinge, push that butt back, keep that core in tight. We're gonna stand it up. Mm -hmm. Let's go nine more of those, squeeze the cheeks. Yeah, there's one, two, you feel that knee drive? Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one. Beautiful. Now that you felt that difference with you squeezing those cheeks, I want you to try just squatting with that knee valgus, those knees caving in. See how different that feels in your body. It should feel alleviated. It should feel harder using the muscles when we squeeze the cheeks, but it should feel easier on the joints. And that's what we're looking for. All right. We're going to now bring that to a lunge. Feet come shoulder width apart. At least same thing. That front leg, I want you to engage that glute. This one. Core is engaged. We're going to drive back with our right leg. So when I lunge, I'm stepping back. Feet are shoulder width apart. This booty is engaged. When I stand up, I'm pressing off of my left. This is the working leg. Okay? Squeeze that left cheek. Drive back. Stand it up. Feel a little bit easier and harder at the same time. Good. Let's go five more. There's one. Squeeze that cheek. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Fantastic job. Let's go ahead and practice on the right side. Squeezing that right cheek. See how that knee comes out. Feet are shoulder width apart. Let's go and hang out here all together. Get that glute engaged. Stand it up. One more. We all feel good here? All right, let's do eight reps together. Just one, squeezing that cheek. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Fantastic job. Fantastic job. All right. How are we feeling with the glute stuffs? The glute stuffs, we're layering. So you guys, I don't expect you all to get it all today. It's going to come with time. You can replay this video, which is amazing. We're gonna go deadlift next. So with our deadlift, we can use a dumbbell. This is a very complex movement and we're gonna go in depth as we can with the short time that we have. Feet are gonna be on the outside of this dumbbell, right in between, so you can see my placement here. If I was to have a barbell, the barbell would be against my shins. We're gonna squeeze the cheeks, we're going to add in that pelvis, that neutral pelvis that we found before. We're going to hinge those hips back, engage that core. And this is the tricky part. When we go to grab our dumbbell or a barbell, we want to think of bending it in half. So a lot of people I see not engaging their lats and that comes with showing those elbow pits. So every time we grab here, I want to see the pits. Big squeeze on the glutes from the side here. Dumbbell comes right in between the legs. Core is engaged. Hip is hinged. Elbow pits. Okay. Yeah. Booty squeezed. I'm feeling the tension here first. I bend it in half. Awesome. Let's go eight more together. There's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Last one. Fantastic job. Fantastic job. And how we can test this elbow pit theory, bringing it down in a plank, and this is something you can perform in so many different areas of your lifting. So when I come into a plank position, when I go and put my hands on the floor, I can check and see if I'm engaging by just checking where my elbow pits are. You see that? 
So if we're in the quadruped, we're in our hands and knees. See when you externally rotate here, what that looks like. You'll feel a little bit different of an engagement here. So we're gonna push out our elbow pits. We're gonna engage our core, find that neutral pelvis, and we're gonna hold. Let's hold for 10 more seconds together. Five, four, three, two, and fantastic. How is everybody feeling so far? Learning some new tips and tricks? I sure hope so. We're gonna finally use that dumbbell. And even if you don't have a dumbbell, if you have a band, a wine bottle, literally anything, you can perform the same thing. When we're doing a row, we wanna make sure that we're bending in half. We're bending, if you had a barbell or a broom or a dumbbell or anything in front of you, think of bending it in half. That is gonna get your back engaged. So when we do our row, we're gonna bend the barbell or the imaginary dumbbell in half as we row up. We're gonna lead this movement with our shoulder blade. So that's one common thing a lot of us miss is that we're starting our rows with that bony protrusion, all those muscles around it, that's what's gonna lead this movement, this rowing motion. So let's all go together. We're gonna come into a modified lunge. Brace our core, and we're gonna practice bending in half. So core is braced. I depress that scap, so pull that shoulder blade down and back, and I'm bending in half. Yeah, let's go eight reps. Just think of that motion, the elbow comes tight to the body. You can feel your side lat here. Let's go two more reps. Beautiful. All right, that was a lot of information all at once. I wanna practically put it together for you. We're gonna do a little mini circuit and then I'm gonna be available after. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and start with that glute bridge. We're on our back, finding that neutral pelvis. We can go dumbbell or no dumbbell. I'm gonna show you no today, just in case you don't have equipment. We're gonna use those hands for extra pressure. You find that brace core, that neutral pelvis. We're gonna exhale, squeeze those glutes. Beautiful, let's go 11 more reps. Mm-hmm, 10 more. Beautiful, eight, seven. Big squeeze every time. Six, five, four, three, two, and squeeze, five, four, three, two, and bring it down. Flipping over, you can choose that forearm plank or that hand plank. I'm gonna choose to bend that, that handle in half and show you a hand plank here. Legs are extended long, neutral pelvis, and I'm bending in half so you can see my elbow pits are in the front. We're holding here for 30 seconds. Nice, long line of energy, all together. You've got this brace, that core. Engage the quads, the front of the legs, the glutes, hamstrings in the back. Holding for 10 more seconds. Yeah. Three, two, beautiful. We're gonna go to that squat if we have that dumbbell. Bring it on in, no dumbbell, no problem. Weight's gonna come to the chest. Squeeze those cheeks, okay? Squeeze those cheeks, see what your knees can do. Down low, yeah. All together, there's three, four, five, six, come on, seven, 
abdomen. Think about those knees and those cheeks. Nine, last three. Last one. Fantastic job. For that lunge, you can, you can still hold on to that dumbbell, bring it to the chest. We're gonna start with that left leg going for reps of 10. Squeezing that left cheek. This leg is leading the movement. And there's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, think about that glute. Seven, eight, nine. Beautiful, I hope you're noticing as you engage that glute, your knee naturally drives out. Yeah. Are we ready? Right side, 10 reps. Shoulder width apart. Make sure we're not coming too narrow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Amazing job. We're dropping it low for that deadlift. Dumbo right between the feet. You can practice this again with a wine bottle or nothing. We're just practicing that hinge. Squeeze those cheeks. Hinging. We're finding that neutral pelvis. Bend it in half. All together now, let's get 10 reps. Yeah. Leading with those hips. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's push it a little extra practice. Ten. Two more. Come on. One, two. Fantastic job. We're going to go row next. Remember, bending in half, leading the shoulder blade down and back. We're going to go eight reps each side. You ready? Leaning over, core is in tight, spine is long. I am bending in half every single time. Yeah, get it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's switch it all together. You ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, my friends, we're gonna go one more round. You ready? Starting with that glute bridge. Finding that neutral pelvis. Weight comes on the pelvis or you're using your hands. Ready? Bracing that core. Squeeze those cheeks. Knees are gonna naturally come out. Big squeeze. We're gonna have two second pauses for 12 reps. We're merging it all together. It's a lot of information. But you repeat and you practice and you'll become better. Awesome job, halfway. Big squeeze on those glutes, core is in tight. Eight. Last three. And beautiful. Flipping on over for that plank. No mountains, no saggy backs. You ready? Finding those elbow pits. Nice long line of energy. You've got this. We're doing this all together for 30 seconds. Awesome job, my friends. 10 seconds, we are stronger together. Five, four, three, two, and bring those knees down. 
We're gonna go goblet squat. Same squat we've been doing. Knees out, cheeks are squeezed. You ready? Check in, check in. Squeeze those glutes. Ready? Let's go for 12. There's one, two, three, four. Yeah, you're strong. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, last two, 11, beautiful. Starting with that left leg, let's go 10 reps. Squeezing that left butt cheek, feet or shoulder width apart. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, last two, nine. Good job. Switching to that right leg. Remember that pelvis, that cheek engagement. You got it, you got it, we're doing it together. It's fun stuff. Right leg first. Yeah, right leg, right cheek. There's four, all together. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful, and 10. We're gonna go to that deadlift. Bring that dumbbell to the floor. Right between, you guys can see, right in between my feet. What are we doing? Squeezing the cheeks. Ready? 12, let's get it. One, two, elbow pits. Three, four, got it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last three, 10, 11, yeah. Awesome job. All right, finishing off with rows. Are you ready? Bending it in half. We're leading with that shoulder blade. We're just starting to get used to these things. All together, let's go eight reps. Core is in tight, semi-lunge position. Ready? Overemphasize, bending in half. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, heck yeah, awesome, other side, you're fantastic. All right, bending in half, core in tight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, awesome job. Go and rack that weight. Go and grab my little Dexter. This is his first live workout, you guys. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever on form or programs or anything, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or Dexter. I don't think he'll give you much of a response but we're so happy to have you and we can't wait to see you next. Bye.